Hey folks, Rob with Two Guys in a Ride. Today we are with Luke at the Apple Valley All Ford Car Show. And Luke's got a beautiful 1992 Ford Mustang and he's gonna tell us a little bit about it. Luke, introduce yourself and talk to us and show us your beautiful car. Hi, I'm Luke. Uh, it's a 92 LX Calypso Green, original 302 five-speed car. Uh, I purchased it from the original owner with ultra low miles. Um, <laughs> tore down the motor pretty much before I drove it, one mile. Uh, did cylinder heads, cam, exhaust, intake, gears, uh, basic bolt-ons. Uh, I hope to soon supercharge it, probably this fall. Um, pretty much a work in progress like any other Mustang. Mm -hmm. um, but I absolutely love the rare color. That's what drew me to this particular car. I mean, always wanted and have had Fox bodies, but I really wanted a Clipso Green uh, Low Mile One Owner Fox body, and I finally found it. Now you were saying, how long did you chase this car before you actually were able to get it? Well, I've been chasing Clipso Greens for a couple years okay. uh, to find the right one. Okay. Uh, they come up very far and few between. Right. Um, this one came up, and uh, I dealt with them for about a month. Okay. Trying to work the deal. Okay. Um, went on vacation, thought about it, came back. I was like, I pretty much will pay your asking price. I want it. And this is the original paint. 100% original. Hasn't been resprayed. 100% original. But you have done a little bit of work on the engine. Correct. And what have you Correct. done there? And what do we got now? What do we? What have you? You started with a bone stock, 100% untouched 302. Okay. Actually came from the factory. Okay. Um, ripped it down to a bare block. Uh, did cylinder heads, camshaft, full exhaust, intake. Um, pulleys, basic bolt-ons, getting it ready for hopefully boost this and, fall. And stock form, she's putting out how much horsepower? Two, 225. And now? Uh, roughly 315. And you were telling me you hope to do what now to it? Uh, supercharge and hopefully <laughs> be in the 450 to 500 That's horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower because this is a fairly light car. It is. Still it has is. a solid rear axle it and it's the Fox body, so it was Correct. pretty li light. But you're saying also this is an LX trim, so it is a little bit lighter vehicle anyway. A little bit lighter than the GT package. Okay, and yep. on the inside, you were saying are, now the, the front seats are they're out of an SN95 like okay. my blue car okay so they've got a, like a 94 to 95 because they have higher bolsters right um, and I prefer to be a little bit more stuck in the car right well, especially um, with that horsepower yeah 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 so how does it handle in curves is it, it it's pretty good or? it's stock suspension right now okay. they were pretty good okay mainly made for straight line okay um, but suspension will be next for me okay I'll be doing All right. full suspension on it too yeah that was the thing being this light and having such a heavy engine up front it was a little bit better but I'm not sure what the power the, the, the ratio was but it's definitely nose heavy absolutely and if you go and put a little bit more power it's gonna be tough to get that power to the rear wheel because you've got that extra weight absolutely but when you do lock it up I imagine you can burn off a nice set of tires pretty quickly it, it, yeah it lets the tires go pretty easily <laughs> and like you said straight line performance yep. is it yeah but you know I really love it because in these Fox bodies I love we talked about it a minute ago and I got some pictures of it uh, some of the aero details that they did on here. Sure. One of it is the aero flush headlights. Yep. Now you and I know today with the with the headlights as flush they are on all our new cars, there wouldn't be these gaps. Yeah. But talking in the 80s and 90s, this was cool. This was huge over the inset yeah. uh, uh, quad headlights that they used to have, and then the spoilers. And again, you were telling me about the difference on the uh, LX to a uh, GT, GT is the ground effects. That Correct. You get. Correct. So that would have been what side skirts and yep and front front, front, front balance side skirts okay. in the rear. Okay. Yep. yep. And would you have had hood scoops on that? No. Nope. GT. No. Nope. It would have had the regular? same exact hood. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, um, what is the your most favorite thing about this car? Um, Other than it's yours, and you get to look at it in the driveway and take it play with it. I get to do all the work on it myself. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, kind of yeah. cool. Well, that's just it. You're saying that because it is a Fox body. It is yep. the, the 302. It's, it's, yep. Five liter. There's lots of parts. There's lots of things available to personalize to soup it. up on. Yep. There's lots of parts out there. Uh, parts are relatively cheap in aftermarket standards. Yeah. Um, compared to the new stuff, and uh, I know it like inside out, inside and out, and I can turn every bolt on it one nice. thing one thing happens to it I know exactly where to go I know exactly how to fix it. well and if you've got a classic car yep. uh, you take it for a ride one thing has happened to it yep. you've got to work on it but that's part of the charm of it too and because absolutely. you get to know your vehicle even better and you get to make it yours and that's what you've done here and uh, it's beautiful it's Calypso green yep Calypso green you chased it you found it you made it yours yep. and now you're playing with it enjoying it and you drive it absolutely is it a daily driver is it a weekend? oh no I, yeah just just 
when I when it's nice out. Right, right. On okay. the weekends, yeah. Okay. Yep. But you enjoy it. I love it more than anything in life. That's awesome. Yep. Luke, thank you so much absolutely for sharing your Mustang with absolutely. us. Absolutely. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.